Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this month of July 4th, Tuesday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Let us lift our hand and thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Hallelujah. Let us lift our hand and thank Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last night for the good sleep He gave us and blessed us for His grace. Let us lift our hand and thank Him. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. This morning, with good health and happiness, the Lord who woke us up for His mercy and grace, let us lift our hand and thank Him. Father, thank you for the good sleep He gave us last night. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you. With good health, You woke us up. Thank you. You extended our life. Thank you to do thy work this morning for waking us up father thank you lord thank you thank you jesus thank you father thank you this morning father for miraculously leading us for your faithfulness we tell you thank you hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus for holding your hand and leading us thank you for going before us for being behind us father thank you for your hand of protection. Thank you for opening doors for us. Thank you for your angels that are protecting us. Father, for your grace, we tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you. Father, we tell you thank you for your mercy, for your grace, for your compassion. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 140, verse number 6, I said to the Lord, You are my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. Verse number 12 and 13, I know that the Lord will maintain the course of the afflicted and justice for the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name. The upright shall dwell in your presence. Let us all pray together. Let us close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we have come close to you. Last full morning for protecting us. Thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night. Thank you. With good health, Father, for waking us up. Thank you. Daddy, this morning, let your grace be with us. Father, let your, thank you for your presence with us. Father, nothing else we need this morning, but we need your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Above Father, Lord, your presence for being with us. Thank you. Your grace for being with us. Thank you, Lord. Father, your hand that helps for being with us. Thank you. The mighty Mighty hand of the Lord that performs for being with us. Thank you. Father, this morning, everyone who is hearing this voice today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bless and pray for them. Let their family life be blessed, their children be blessed, their workplace be blessed everywhere, always. Your children, to be a blessing, help them, Lord. Father, if there is anyone sick this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, the healing by thy stripes that you bore, let them receive it. Every power of sickness be gone in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ. Every bondage of sickness be untied. Let your children enjoy peace, healing, restoration of health, God's peace. Let them enjoy it this morning. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, every condition of sickness be gone. Let them arise from the sickbed. I am the Lord that healeth thee. As per it is written in the word of God, in their life, let it start performing the power of healing. Let it pour upon their body. Let them be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Hallelujah. Complete healing this morning for pouring it upon your children. Thank you. Also, Father, those who are going through financial difficulty, those who don't have job, Father, for everyone, let your work be revealed. Father, open way for them. This morning, let doors of work be opened for them. Father, from financial difficulty, let your children come out. Father, thank you for opening the doors of living. Everyone's business, let there be an abundance, Lord. Those who are doing their work, oh Father, men, women, Lord, children, Father, protect them, preserve them, and for them, Lord Jesus, your special protection force for coming for them. Thank you. Wherever your children are, under thy mighty wings, for hiding them. Thank you. 
Father, under thy mighty wings for protecting your children. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. We give you all the glory. You who gave your life for us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Let the grace, the peace, and the joy of the Lord be and follow you wherever you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today morning, we are going to meditate from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 5. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 5. From us, the good deeds of ours should be transferred to our children. Good values, good habits, good spiritual insight is what we should transfer to our children is today's message. Verse number 5. When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Paul the Apostle, what he sees in Timothy, equality is that genuine faith. The genuine faith that is seen in Timothy, Paul is remembering and giving God the glory. That special quality, that, that special kind of faith is being seen in Timothy. And then it continues saying, This faith which is in you, the genuine faith that is in you, which you dwelt first in your grandmother Louise and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you. So how was it transferred to Timothy? First it was there in his grandmother Louise and then in his mother Hallelujah. From his grandmother to his mother and then from his mother to her son, which was transferred, genuine faith. This morning, this is what the Holy Spirit is reminding us for us to transfer. Finance is not enough. Building and property is not enough for us to transfer some eternal values, some heavenly treasures, that which is so much in heaven for our children, for our next generation to transfer, we should have something in hand. Look over here. In Timothy, his genuine faith, he got it from his four fathers. We should also see, children, our children should say, my father's faith, my mother's faith, my father's love, my mother's love is what I also have, a prayer. Hallelujah. That prayer life that your child has should be transferred from you. The habit of reading Bible is what is transferred to them. They're going to worship. That behavior in your children should be transferred from us in this manner, our life, for our children to speak about it or for us to speak. My faith that was in my father, the prayer habit that I received from my mother or that purity in my life or that humbleness and the love towards my God. All these as we children of God should be transferred to our children from us and that transfer will change their life. This morning, you who is hearing this message today, let us ask to ourselves, what is it we are transferring to our children? Is it unbelief or is it faith? Hallelujah. To Timothy, what was transferred? Genuine faith. Amen. For us also to be transferred something to. Do you have a prayer life to transfer to your children? Do you have a habit of meditating the word of God? Let your children see that and study and say, I have seen my parents doing it. That is what I got also from them. Even what is in us, when without us knowing, it will be transferred to them. Seeing us studying, they will also start studying the word of God. So if there is something good in us, that will be transferred to our children. So what is should be in us, good values, good deeds, love, joy, peace, faith, self-control, all these when it starts bearing fruit, it will be transferred to our children, even without us knowing. The fruits of the Spirit, when it is filled in us, it will be transferred to our children. So these days pray, Lord, when I am in this world, for me to transfer to my children the good values, let it be in me. How many of you desire? Let us close our eyes and pray. Father, the all time we are in this world for our children, to our children, to our spiritual children, to transfer good eternal values. Let it be in our life. What is transferred from our life? Let it regenerate the life that there will be a miracle and a wonder, O oh Lord. 
Father, thank you for your mighty hand that is performed. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. Abba, Father, this morning, everyone who is hearing this voice today, many good things to let them let them have it to transfer to their children. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children will prophesy. A young man shall see visions, and an old man shall dream dreams. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed and highly favored. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. From you to your children, eternal values, let it be transferred. Hallelujah. Let the Lord bless you.